Hey, YouTube family. It is Queen Renee coming at you again with another video. So today, I am actually going to do a little something different um, that I think I may incorporate into my channel. So today's video is going to be called Makeup and Mayhem. So what that is, is I am going to be doing my makeup just to give me something to do while I'm talking to you guys. Um, and um, talking about some disturbing facts of mayhem that was unleashed up on black people. So, um, let me go ahead and give you the dictionary um, definition of mayhem. Mayhem is a noun and it's, it means violent or damaging disorder or chaos. The crime of a malicious, of the crime of maliciously injuring or maiming someone originally so as to render the victim defenseless. Alrighty, so now we're going to go ahead and get into this story and honestly, this story is not very long, um, so I don't really particularly know if I am going to be able to finish my makeup while telling this story. But just a little housekeeping before we do begin with the story. This is my channel. My name is Queen Renee. And this is my channel where I pretty much just do whatever is, um, whatever I want to do. On any given day however I feel um just really depends on what I'm doing what I feel like um, relaying so today's story is going to be about Mary Turner now for um, those, we'll get into who she is and what happened, um, actually. So, back in, um, all right, y'all, I am back and <laughs> had um, a neighbor to come with some trash music. So, I had to be on. Um, to pause it. But anywho, I'm back now. So, like I said, today we're going to talk about Mary Turner. Now, I'm going to um, read a little bit of the... Um, and then give my my thoughts on things or just pretty much tell the story anyway so here we go um there was a chain of events that happened that led to the um lynching of mary turner now it started on may in may of 1918 on Hamilton Smith, Hamilton, good Lord, I'm so wrong. I'm sorry. Hampton Smith's plantation. And this happened in Brooks County, Georgia. So what actually happened was um, a 31-year-old white man was shot and killed by one of its black, one of his black owners, um, I'm sorry, workers. And um, his name was Sidney Johnson. So, 
after the um after the um slave emancipation many plantations they just had um in the south they began to have what um pretty much was labor shortages because of the fact that there were the slaves were emancipated and so a lot of the slaves had actually left and um moved m moved north a lot of them did um or try to or you know just was kind of doing their own thing so um what happened was many of the plantation owners um turn to what's called debt patronage or peonage that's what it is peonage so what they do what they would do is they would find um what they called ready labor pools and which would just be slaves former slaves um that um needed work or um former slaves that had been imprisoned um more than more than likely falsely imprisoned because that's what they did back then and um they would put these people in arrest these people um because apparently at around that time it was um which they're trying to do now if we really want to be honest is they were they had made it where homelessness was um against the law so if you were found to be a homeless derelict or or what have you they would ultimately arrest you and put you in jail now if you did like you know just you didn't even really have to be committing quote unquote real crimes to be arrested um and it's pretty much it's kind of that way now so in some aspects um so anywho he would um he would take he, this man Ham, hampton he took advantage of the system by bailing out people um that had been jailed and having them to work for him to work their debt off which was the bail money um so once he had taken them or bailed them out he would take them to his plantation and put them to work on the plantation um and they they would be there um until their debt was paid which as we know a lot of times when we look at those things when we hear and um read about the um such acts as this as far as these people working off their debt to these people um we 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 find out that they were being um cheated all the time like they would have them to supposedly work off their debt but in actuality they would keep them for longer periods of time um uh, so their debt would actually be um they would work off their debt plus so moving on so um this this smith character hampton he actually was known for abusing and beating his workers and so um 
there was this 19 year old young man um, named Sidney Johnson that was um, unfortunately he was a victim of Smith's violence so after after a few days of him working for on Smith's plantation Johnson became um, Johnson wanted his money because I guess they were paying them um, but I don't know so much that they were paying them because um, if they were working off their debts then they wouldn't have been paid because they were working off that debt but this particular young man um, this 19 year old man uh, Sydney Sydney Johnson I guess he was actually being paid for his labor because like I said there were they would um, hire or go to the labor pool as well and get people um, to come and work on their land for them so anyway for some reason well Johnson was not paid the um, wages that he had earned and um, he was beat by Smith for not working while he was sick so we had two two things that happened for one he did he was Smith refused to pay him and then he also had beat the young man because he didn't work during a um a time when he was when he was sick and so that started the whole situation that led to Mary Turner being lynched so what happened was Johnson he of course was upset that this man had beat him and on top of beating on him he wouldn't pay him his money so he went and he shot Hampton Smith and he killed him so when he shot and killed this man of course those others of the same persuasion as Smith were upset now when you back then and still now as well when you have a death of a white man at the hands of a black man that is you know um it sets the area into a frenzy they they are completely upset and um ready to do battle pretty much i am not liking this makeup anywho um so there was a mob that was formed to um search for johnson and others that they thought would be involved in um his decision to kill this man which i mean he didn't have to have others to make this decision for him this young man was um retaliating for the abuse that this man has subjected him to so they had this big manhunt and it lasted for like more than a week and within that week they had um they killed something like 13 people 13 black people um trying to find this young man and also at the same time blaming 
um, black people for, that's better because I can't, anyway, blaming black people for um, this murder. Now, we all know how that works. When they, and you know who I mean when I say they, when they determine that a black person has done something to wrong one of them, they don't just blame one black person. They want to annihilate as many of us as they can. It's been that way forever since we've been here. So, because according to them, their lives mean way more than ours do. So if we take one of their lives, they're going to take a multitude of ours. They don't just go for the person that committed the act. And even though that young man really was justified in what he did, um, but that's not the way that they think. So anyway, moving on. So within this within this week where they terrorized and hunted down black people, and like I said, they subsequently ended up killing um about killing like 13 people and um one of the people that was murdered by these devils because we might as well just call them what they are um one of the people that was murdered at the time was Mary Turner's husband. And um, Mary, at the time that this happened, so Mary Turner was, um, she was, she was eight months pregnant and she was 28 years old and she had a husband and her husband's name was Hazel and they called him Hayes. Um, Hazel Turner was her husband and um, he had been subsequently caught by the um, by the, by this mob that were hell-bent on killing someone um, for this murder you know the killing of smith who like i said in my opinion really got what he deserved so anywho um when they killed hazel turner which was mary turner's husband um mary was very upset, which is understandable. And she said some things that eventually, which would cost her her life. Now, we know when we're upset and we say things, but I don't, Honestly, I mean, she was about that life, you know, she she was ready for them because she was she wasn't no punk But I don't really think that she understood or thought that her actual words would lead to the to her death and the death of her unborn child so um what happened was she actually, she went and she uh, publicly ridiculed and what they say, what they call objected back in the day, 
to the fact that her husband was murdered um, in the fashion that he was behind something he had nothing to do with. So once she had heard about her husband being murdered, she had said publicly and without any recoil, you know, recoil, she did not care. She went out and she said that she was going to swear out warrants for everybody that was responsible for her husband's death. Now, by her saying that, um, of course, those involved in the mob um, did not take kindly to the fact that this black woman decided that she had enough authority or any kind of recourse to be able to say that she was going to swear out warrants on them. She threatened to swear out these warrants and you know their thought process. How dare she? How dare this black woman think that she has the authority to do such a thing? And even if she doesn't have the authority to do it, that she even has the nerve and the gall to say it. So that was that was an issue for them. They didn't take kindly to that. So being that they didn't take kindly to that, um they became enraged, as they are subject to do on a regular basis. They always become enraged and and what have you against anyone that anyone that comes against them. So anyway, once they heard that she had said this and what her intentions was, so they went on to actually call themselves punishing her. So she was, she was actually, they caught her. And, um, they caught her when she was actually trying to flee. She was trying to actually get out of the area and they actually apprehended her when she was trying to leave. And once they apprehended her, they... They actually, um, they caught her, uh, they caught her and then they had taken her to a place called, um, Folsom's Bridge and it's on the Brooks and Loundis County border there and then, um, they went on to call themselves punishing her for her misdeeds, which really just resulted in a statement that she made um, that they were not happy with. So what they did is they, um, they tied Mary Turner by her ankles and they hung her upside down from a tree. And they proceeded to pour gasoline on her and set her afire. 
So once they done this, um, she was still alive, but she was, they were burning her and they actually, one of the, one of the, um, culprits cut her stomach open and when they cut her stomach open her unborn child spilled out of her belly to the ground and um once this child hit the ground, these demonic people actually, one of them stomped on this baby's head and crushed, crushed him crushed the baby um his head into the ground now um after they had done all of that so it's not enough that you set this lady on fire it's not enough that you have cut her belly open and killed her child. It's not enough that you've done all of these heinous things and that's where the mayhem comes in. That you've done all of these heinous acts at the after all of this they then riddle her body full of gunshots and once they did that they i guess they were satisfied and they left her body hanging um they they didn't take her down, which, you know, will we really expect them to? Because they're, they're savages. They're, I mean, they were, they were what they were and they are what they are. Um, it just, you know, we just happen to know that. These are the things that they have done. And, um, yeah. So, after they had left her body there, um, later on that night, her body, her and her baby were buried, um, 10 feet away from where, where they were murdered in a makeshift grave. Um, and they, they said that it was marked with only a whiskey bottle and a cigar stuffed in its neck. I don't know what that would represent, um, at, or who even, who even buried her. We, we, you know, no one says, it doesn't say who buried her, um. Or anything that's just you know what they did so um, after all of that what they did to her after they did all of that and um, they actually ended up finding three more bodies 
and um, in the area. So I guess they didn't stop with her. They continued with their um, with their tirade and um, continued to look for more people to assault. And they uh, they eventually did find um, Sidney Johnson. And when they did find him, um, he was killed. They say that he was killed in a shootout with police. And, I mean, I hope that's true. Because they, that he did not go willingly. Um, and I can believe it because... Obviously, he was a young man that decided he wasn't going to take no shit. Really? My cat is over here doing something. I don't know why he's making that strange noise. Again, they like to make noises when I'm on, when I'm doing videos. But anyway, so... He actually ended up being a young man that just seemed like he was not, he wasn't going for, they, for the bull that they were, you know, subjecting black people to. So I will believe, I would believe that he'd go out in, um, in a shootout with the police. So anyway... Um, they said that he went, that he had a shootout with the police and, um, once he was killed, they said that, um, a crowd of more than 700 people watched as these ingrates, um, cut off his genitals. Um, so once they cut off this man's genitals, they said that they threw, that his genitals were thrown into the street. And then a rope was tied around his neck and his body, and he was drugged for nearly 20 miles. And then once they'd finished all of that, now, once again, here's, this is all the mayhem here, because who thinks to cut someone's genitals off after you've already killed them? He's already shot. He's dead. Um, there's no more that, you know, you could do to physically harm him anymore because he's gone he's dead but you're not done you haven't had enough so instead of just leaving him you cut off his genitals you throw them in the street you drag his body for 20 miles and then after you drag this man's body for 20 miles, which we know if someone drags your body for 20 miles, it's not going to be much left. But what was left, they then took up and burned. So... After all you've done, after all you've done, now you take him, the rest of his body, and you burn it. Because it wasn't enough that you drug him. It wasn't enough that you cut his genitals off. It wasn't enough that you'd already shot him up. 
and he was dead. That that wasn't enough. So after all of this was done to him, to the 13 other black people that lost their lives behind this act here, um, after all of that, five, they, they said five, more than 500 black people fled from the area, um, of Loundis and Brooks County, um, very shortly after that cha after the chain those chains of events um so and the thing about that that we need to you know i just want to say is when you have something like this happen and no one cares to address this um they just go on like nothing you know like this is a normal everyday occurrence of course as a black person i would be leaving the area as well um, I'm going to take a little break because I'm, um, I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to dip off for a second. I'm going to pause for just a second and I'll be right back and then I'll finish up my statement. Okay, so um, this is my finished look, but um, I do want to read a little snippet here from something that I found, and I can't remember where I got it, but... It just was a little snippet that I wanted to read where it said, Mary Turner's story and the stories of so many others like her should never be forgotten. These types of acts remain some of the most gruesome cases of racism and racial terrorism in our nation's history. Yet they have been whitewashed from mainstream history books and teachings. Mary Turner's murder remains one of the most horrific crimes committed against human committed against human beings in this nation's history. The horrible conditions so many of our ancestors were forced to live through should never be forgotten or ignored. It's part of our history, American history. So that is our Makeup and Mayhem story for today. Um, if you stayed this long, I do appreciate you. I do thank you guys. I wish that you would sh like, share, and subscribe. And also comment on my channel. Um, and watch some of my older stuff. Um, videos that I've had from before. But I do want to thank you all for just being here and supporting me through this journey. Once again, thank you for joining. This is Queen Renee, and you all have a wonderfully blessed day.